So what happens if you're feeling burnt out or tired? I'll tell you my three tips to help you get up to play goal coming up next. Voice over goalie. Hey, Wayne the VO Goalie here. My channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content. So if you've liked, subscribed, or commented on one of my videos, you are totally awesome. So I gotta admit something to you. Sometimes I don't really feel like playing goal. Maybe this has happened to you. You've had a long week at work or school. Your game's really late at night or early in the morning. Your last game didn't go so well, so you're feeling a little discouraged. Or maybe it's just raining outside. Whatever the case, we all go through periods of time where playing goal seems really hard or like a chore. I mean, this week has been pretty hard for me. So as you know, I live up in New England, and this week we're predicted to have our first snowfall of the year. And being the procrastinator that I am, it meant that my yard still had a ton of leaves in it. So this week I've been scrambling to do a little extra yard work during the day before the snow hits later this week. Now, I know you might be in Canada, and for you, the snow isn't a big deal. And you know, as a New Englander, snow's not a big deal for me either. But I'm pretty sure the snowstorm has hit most of the eastern U.S., and some areas that actually don't get snow. I'm pretty sure it's snowed in Philadelphia, because I think I saw a picture of Gritty trying to catch snowflakes on his tongue. Okay, so let's talk about a few ways to get your energy up and keep you having fun playing the game. If you have a secret tip or trick to help keep goaltending fun, let us all know in the comments below. So the first point for me is routine. One of the things that helps me get ready for a game is going through a pregame routine. As goalies, we're always trying to strive for consistency in our game. And while sometimes that can feel out of control when we're on the ice, if we start with consistency before we even put on our skates, that at least helps me get in the mindset of going out there to play. So think about incorporating a pregame routine. It can be as easy as having a certain food before you go to skate, or even listening to the same music on your way to the rink. What a routine really does is help you mentally focus and eliminate distractions. For me, when I'm on the ice, I don't want to be thinking about this or that or work or family. I want my focus to be on the puck and how the game unfolds. So starting with a pregame routine that gets me in the mindset of blocking out distractions really translates when I get on the ice. If you want to hear more about routines, I go more in depth into routines in this video here. The next point is understand that goals will be scored on you. Sometimes your rut comes from letting in a bunch of goals on a pretty consistent basis. It feels like you can't stop a beach ball, let alone a slap shot from the point. And while we all love to pitch a shutout every single game, the reality is goals will be scored against you. So understand that when that happens, it's okay because it's part of the game. And you know what? Sometimes it's not even your fault. Side note, this is one of the reasons why I record my games. Because I used to be pretty hard on myself and beat myself up after letting in a goal. And sometimes during the game I'm so focused on the puck that I miss things that aren't even my fault. So it's nice to go back and review the game footage of all the goals against. Because sometimes it shows that even though you might have let up a bunch of goals, you know what, it's okay because hockey is a team sport and it's not all your fault. And you never know when you're going to make your best save ever. And that brings me to my last point. Remember, at the end of the day, it's still just a game. Hockey's meant to be fun, and I'm pretty sure that 99.9% .9 of you watching my videos aren't getting paid to play hockey. So you know what? Just go out there and enjoy the game for what it is. As goalies, we need to have a short-term memory, because as soon as a goal is scored against us, we need to forget about that and focus on the next shot. And the same holds true for the outcome of games. You win some, you lose some. And for me, as I'm not a professional athlete, if I go out there, make a couple saves, and don't get hurt, well, that sounds like a win for me. So don't be so hard on yourself. And if you're in a rut or the game stops being fun, don't worry, you'll come out of it. And just think, at least you're not a professional goalie in a hockey-crazed market. <coughs> Montreal. So no one's going to blast you in tomorrow's newspaper. Hey, are you in the Boston area? I have a couple of new ideas for some videos, and I'm looking to meet up with other goalies for some on-ice videos. So if you're a goalie local to the Boston area, drop me an email at vogoalie at gmail.com, and let's make some awesome videos together.